welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a no makeup makeup look. So it's a little bit more natural. I know I've recorded a video like this a few years ago, but I have an updated version for you all today. It's simply just some fake eyelashes, a pretty full face of makeup and eyebrows. It's been nice taking a break from eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow, but it's been really nice not having to put an effort in thinking about complimenting colors and blending and blah, 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 blah. Everything I used in this video will all be linked down below as per usual. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, the notification bell and the thumbs up button so I know to film more future content like this one. Without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna be using is a sunscreen and this is the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Face In Body Sunscreen. It's 24 hour hydration, 80 minute water resistance. A big claim to make there. SPF 30. I like to go with the highest SPF possible that I can find. Right now, this is the one I have in my house, aka my sister and I's bathroom. So, this is what I'll be using. I go on a lot of walks now that it's warm out and like walks outside. So, I like to stay sunscreened. Rub it between my fingers. I almost always apply it on my face and then I'll do my shoulders and my chest and my back. My legs like never burn. So I kind of skipped that part, but doesn't mean you should be skipping that part. Does anyone else hate the residue you get on your hands after applying a greasy product? Next, I'm gonna be applying my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Now this is ironic, because I really haven't used this in forever. I've been using a good face moisturizer, and when you use a good one of those, you don't really need one of these, but for the sake of today, and I already have sunscreen on, and my skin was already kind of moisturized from the night previous, I'm not gonna put more moisturizer on. My skin is pretty even in consistency and texture, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. Like a little dollop, I kind of just like pat this in. I like to pop on my eyelashes second so they can set and dry with the glue and all that jazz and then I work on my face to make up next. I store my eyelashes that I'm currently wearing in like a little flossing case because I just find that that's the perfect little compact thing when I'm like traveling to my boyfriends and stuff. I don't even know what style of lash this is. This is just a random one from a value pack from the dollar store, but I haven't seen any lashes from the dollar store in quite a while. I think they stopped selling them, I don't know why. But these are the ones that are gonna pop on my lashes today. I'm using my favorite eyelash glue, which is the Velour Adhesive Lash. I believe this one's water resistant as well. And then I have these little eyelash applicators that kind of help me set them in place and poke around if I need to adjust and such. Now there is a crap ton of dried glue on this already, but it's okay. So as you can see, the eyelash only filled kind of the middle slash outer part of my right eye here. That's because I go in and I trim them before putting them on. So I will connect with liquid liner, the end of the tip of the eyelash into the inner corner so it kind of looks like more complete. And then I'll brush some mascara in as well so it blends it all together. Now going in with the second lash. Now that both lashes are on, I'm just gonna let them settle in, dry, etc., and then I'll go back in and coat it with some mascara to blend later. So let's get on to the face makeup. So because I've been spending a little bit more time outdoors, I'm not as pale as I used to be, and I know you can't even really tell, but if I stick my leg up, like look how pale this is compared to my hands and my face. You may not even be really be able to tell. Moral of the story is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation color is just not gonna quite cut it anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with my NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade Cappuccino. And mixing the two of these is perfect because I get the coverage of this one, the little bit of glow of this one, as well as the color add-in. And you may be asking, Clarissa, how are you gonna blend the two? I'm gonna be taking my trusty mixing palette here that I bought from iMats forever ago. This is by the brand Friends, F-R-E-N-D-S, Beauty Supply, and they are really great with having like makeup and beauty tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour like the littlest amount. That's like way too much. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. And then I'm just gonna take my middle finger and mix the two together to create another shade that I don't own. Now this is sometimes a hit or miss. There's a lot of times where I have to add in a little bit more of the pale color, and sometimes I have to add in a little bit more of the bronze color to match the rest of my body. I think I'm gonna have to add in more of the pale color because this is way 
too brown still. I think that's a little bit better. It's still a little bit brown, but we're gonna try and balance it out once it's on my face. Honestly, today is one of my better skin days as well, so I don't even really need a ton. Because it's beginning to be summer, I think it is so important to be setting your face with some powder so your makeup doesn't slide around or sweat off. So I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Make sure you set your neck as well because I brought some foundation down there. I just realized I forgot to put my concealer on my under eyes, but honestly, I had a pretty good sleep and I don't really see any under eye bags. So we're gonna skip this today, but this is the one I would be using. It's the Kylie Jenner concealer, which is pretty um, good actually. I got it on sale. And this is in the shade Gypsum, G-Y-P-S-U-M bomb concealer then i'm going in with my kat von d shade and light palette and i'm mixing my two favorite shades on the end here somber and subconscious and i'm just taking my angled brush too um what is that what is that white thing in my hair all right, we're gonna take a break from the face and I'm gonna go back into my eyelashes just to fix that up and have them done. So what I'm gonna do first is just take my Sephora liquid liner and I'm going to finish connecting the eyelash to the inner corner there just because it doesn't quite fully reach. And then I'm going in with my Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded Mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and curl them with an eyelash curler once they're dry, but let's jump back on into the face for a quick sec. So I'm gonna go ahead with some blush. Now I don't like to go too heavy handed, especially in the summertime, because my cheeks already tend to get rosy very naturally by themselves with just the heat. But I'm gonna go ahead with my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in Party. And this actually came in a Sephora birthday gift a few years ago. Um, Probably not that great to still be using natural flush to the cheek. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that. And we obviously can't forget highlight, so I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills, Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And this actually relaunched this past summer. I know it launched a while ago and they relaunched it. I'm so glad they did because I want you guys to be able to get your hands on it. It is such a great highlighting palette so many different options i think i'm gonna go in with 143 i really only use these bottom three forever lit glow getter and 143 i'm gonna go ahead with this bronzy shade right here and this brush I'm just gonna tap it don't need a lot look how pretty that glow is like holy Nicole, this is bomb. And we're gonna go ahead with my Anastasia Brow Pomade in medium brown. I'm gonna give my eyebrows a quick brush through first. It's been a minute. Oh, I'm obsessed. I remember I had a phase where I used to draw on my eyebrows absolutely crazily stupid. I was like never tall properly. So they were just like squared off so sharply at the inner corner. They looked horrible. Then I went through a phase of not wearing any eyebrow product at all because I just was not confident in them looking half decent. And now I'm starting to get the hang of it and I'm really liking a strong brow. <laughs> And I'm gonna go in with my eyelash curler now and just fix up those lashes like I said I was gonna do earlier. Do you guys ever just curl one set of eyelashes and not the other because then you think it's gonna throw off the identicalness of how close they look already? Like this was already pretty curled, so I don't really wanna mess with that one, so we're gonna keep it. And then of course we're gonna go in with the second last step. I usually put this on and then my lip color, so I'm gonna do this first. My Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This stuff is bomb. And I like to cover my forehead because I don't like that it makes it look a little bit dewy up there once this is sprayed. Everywhere else is cool. 
totally fine for. Not the top, not the top of my head. All right, and the last and final touch is a lip color. Now, I honestly don't even wear lip products that often when I'm doing this makeup look just because I find that I'm eating or drinking most of the time. So the color transfers right onto whatever I'm drinking out of. But for the sake of the video and completing this look, I'm gonna pick a neutral lip color. So I'm gonna go ahead with my MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner, which is just a like mauve pink neutral. <laughs> Now I would normally wear a chapstick underneath this, but my lips are pretty well moisturized from earlier this morning. So I'm not gonna ahead and put that on because it's just gonna slide around this product. I'm gonna go in with a liquid lip that I haven't worn in quite a while. I haven't worn liquid lipstick in a while in general. But this is the Dose of Colors Lazy Daisy, which basically matches this lip pencil pretty darn well. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on. It smells and tastes so good. Okay, final reveal. And this is the finished natural makeup look. And that just about wraps up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you guys wear makeup in the summer or if you wear no makeup or do you wear minimal makeup. Let me know, I'm curious. I will see you guys all in my next video.